The combat role for U.S. troops in Afghanistan may end a full year earlier than expected. Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta said that today for the first time on behalf of the administration. He was talking to reporters traveling on his plane headed to Europe. Secretary Panetta said, quote, hopefully by the mid to latter part of 2013, we'll be able to make a transition from a combat role to a training, advise, and assist role. U.S. forces are due to remain in Afghanistan through 2014. Panetta did not suggest today that Americans would be coming home any sooner. The U.S. goal is to keep the Taliban from returning to power, but in another development today, David Martin tells us that a U.S. military report says the administration's goal may be out of reach. The report, classified secret and titled State of the Taliban 2012, makes for discouraging reading to anyone who thinks the Taliban is a spent force. Based on interviews with Taliban and al-Qaeda prisoners, it states that though the Taliban suffered severely in 2011, its strength, motivation, funding, and tactical proficiency remain intact. Prisoners, of course, are not the most reliable sources. But the sheer weight of numbers, 27,000 interrogations of more than 4,000 prisoners held at Parwan Prison in Afghanistan, gives the report the ring of truth. The prisoners acknowledge they have lost ground in the south of Afghanistan and are no match for American troops. But U.S. force levels are going down from a high of 100,000 to the current 89,000 to 68,000 by September. And the prisoners say they are encouraged to fight on by America's supposed ally, Pakistan and its intelligence service known as ISI. As the report puts it, ISI officers tout the need for continued jihad and expulsion of foreign invaders from Afghanistan. ISI is thoroughly aware of Taliban activities and the whereabouts of all senior Taliban personnel. Senior Taliban leaders meet regularly with ISI personnel who advise on strategy. A captured al-Qaeda commander put it more bluntly. Pakistan knows everything. They control everything. I can't go to the bathroom without them watching. If there's any encouraging news in this document, it's that the Taliban believes al-Qaeda is indeed a spent force and doesn't work with them much anymore. David, thank you very much.